got a little Midwest. We're going thrifting. We haven't done this in two months, three months. Um, I've been sourcing on high bid and online, and we haven't been out seriously garage sales, estate sales, or thrift stores in a long, long time. I'm trying to get rid of my death pile. So we are going to hit the road today and hit some thrift stores we haven't been to in a long time. One of them is known for good uh, china and teacups, so we'll hit that one first. And then we'll get lunch and we'll go back to the compound and uh, I'll show you what I got, what my haul is. Hopefully it's a treasure. I'm getting much pickier in my old age, so I don't just buy anything anymore. And um, as a side note, I haven't had a return in like three years. Um, and I've had two returns in the last week, so I don't know what that's about, but I've had some good sales. So maybe I'll do a combo video, be a sourcing video and a what sold video. I'll just put them all together and uh, put down in the comments what do you think of my new intro. I think it's pretty cool, pretty swanky. Little Midwest, have you seen the new intro? <laughs> no. Okay, she hasn't even seen the new intro, it's really cool, so I'm sure. All right, I might shoot video in the thrift stores, garage sales, whatever we do. I might not. I'm not sure, but uh, stick around for uh, the second part of this video.
guys on this side. I don't care, Dwayne. Do whatever you want.
might not get anything today. I might not get anything today. All right, we're back at the house. Um, I didn't get a whole lot of stuff. I turned down a lot of stuff, walked away from a bunch of stuff, but let's turn the camera around and I'll show you what I did get. Can't remember what I showed on the video, but there were these price guns. It says uh, Garvey Labeler, made in Italy. So there were some comps on eBay, brand new, asking price of $200, $225, something like that. Um, these were four bucks used and I kind of got excited not too bad pretty high quality um, they had about eight of them so I at first I grabbed all of them and then I thought you know what just because somebody's asking 200 bucks doesn't mean they're going to get 200 bucks so I looked at the solds and the solds were just not that great so the sell through rate was kind of poor compared to how many are listed to how many are sold so I decided, you know what, I'm just going to get one. They're four bucks a piece. This was the nicest one as far as the condition of the box and the inside. The other ones were beat up pretty bad. So as an experiment, I just got one. So I'll probably list this for $49.95. Um, it might go first class. I'm not sure. It's kind of heavy, but we'll see. If it's heavy, too heavy for first class, I'll charge shipping. Um, and this was at my favorite Salvation Army, too. I always find something. So this is a, uh, J a Japanese salt and pepper shaker. Some listed say Occupy Japan. It's kind of hard to date. These are little hay bales, salt and pepper shakers. They do have the little cork stoppers in the sticker. It says Japan on the bottom there. If I can get it to focus. It's not going to focus. Now, this is matching, and it was included, and it has an... Uh, has the letter O. I think this is for oil. I'm not sure. But it's got the little top, which I'm sure is usually damaged or missing. Um, and it's like a little hay bale. Let me know down in the comments, what do you think the O stands for? I'm guessing it's for oil, but I'm not sure. This stopper is up inside, so I'm going to have to grab it and pull it out. But these are cute. It was uh, half price, so it was only a dollar for the whole set. Not super valuable, but still nice, especially with this thing here with it. Now the big winner was these Morton Salt Gift Mug Set. So this is what it shows here. So it's like a little stand, and it's still brand new in the package. Came in this box. So you got this thing. I'm not going to take it out because it's still new, but you basically put this stand together, and then you get four ceramic um, mugs to go with it. Made in Japan. You don't see made in Japan very often. Usually it's made in China. So made in Japan is pretty weird. I'm going to have to look this up. These have very good sell through rate and very good comps on eBay. I paid $9 for this new in the box. And that's what the box looks like. It's upside down. It's kind of old. But then they had this one that's still sealed. So it's got somebody's address on there. So this one is still sealed. This one is, I'm going to call this new open box and new sealed, whatever. But that's what it looks like when it's put together. It's just a little steel stand. Um, there's a lot of used ones that have sold, that sold for good money. Um, the new ones, I'm guessing, with this stand is going to go for even better money. And then I got this cute little storage container. i got to back up a little bit. Um, I like it because it's got a small footprint. You know, it doesn't take up much space. It has the wheels underneath. Great for storage in the eBay office. It's about two and a half feet high, but it's very narrow. I like that. It's going to be good for storage. So that's it. Um, I was very disciplined today. I turned away, you know, the other seven of these things. And there were some other items you might have seen. Uh, one of them was Lennox glass. I think it was on the video. But um, I was at a Goodwill and I found a whole bunch of saucers, salad plates, and plates that were Lennox. Um, I looked them up and the sell-through rate was not good. Just because it's Lennox, don't get too overly excited. I got really excited when I saw that. 
almost bought them and I decided not to. So that's the video guys, a small haul. I turned down those Lennox plates because they, they just didn't sell well and they didn't sell for very much money. So just because it says Lennox doesn't mean it's worth buying. For me, um, in the past, I get really excited and I would just buy it all. I'm not doing that anymore. And there were some other items in the video that you saw uh, that I showed that I put back and I just didn't buy because only one sold in 90 days. That's not a good sign. And then the sell price was just not high. There was a Mikasa, I think that's how you pronounce it, some glass from Japan. High quality, looked really cool, but again, sell-through rate was not good and the price wasn't good. So I'm not going to buy a set of plates for $9, 10 $12 and have them sit in my eBay office for five years trying to sell them. So not doing that anymore. So that's it, guys. I hope you liked the video. Uh, until next time, see ya.